Good morning and welcome to Agoracom Small Cap Stock News. It's Thursday, Fe February the 20th, 2014. I'm Alan Barry Labukan, the Chief Market Commentator for Agoracom. Uh, I've done my morning homework. I've gone through uh, several press releases and I found a group of companies that their news stands out to me. I talk about what uh, impressed me about the news and I also give you some insights into what I see in their stock prices or their stock chart as well. Um, we're, uh, we try to keep the show to around a 10 minute time frame. Today I've got six companies to talk about so we'll get right to it. Um, the first company that I have today is uh, Metanor Resources. Metanor Resources had uh, drill results out from their bachelor deposit. Uh, they had some uh, very good intersections in there. Their uh, highlight hole was 7.5 meters of 13 grams per ton gold. Uh, they had a, a 3.4 meter, two 3.4 meter intersections of uh, 11.3 grams per ton gold. So some very good numbers in that bachelor project. I believe that one's in Quebec. Uh, they didn't mark it down here, but I'm pretty certain it's in Quebec. Um, I'm just going to look at their stock today. Uh, it's flat on the day. It's trading at 19.5 cents on 1.52 million shares traded hands. Uh, just going to look at their stock chart now. Um, company's been on a very good move um, since the lows in December. Uh, it's trading above its 2050 and 100 day moving averages, all on very good volume. Uh, it does look like it's trying to, it uh, may have peaked and is now kind of trending sideways a bit. Uh, I'm not sure about that until we see a few more trading days, um, but uh, it's, it's definitely got a lively chart there with, uh, you know, lots of volume um, and um, a good project. MTO is their stock symbol and they trade on the uh, venture exchange. Next up is premium exploration. Um, premium exploration had news out from their Friday gold deposit in Idaho County, Idaho. Uh, the highlight hole was an intercept of 286 meters of 0.73 grams per ton gold. Included in that was 11.67 meters of 2.37 grams per ton gold. Uh, this uh, project also has some high grade elements to it as well um, and very uh, obviously it's, it's big tonnage potential when you start hitting 286 meters of, uh, of mineralization. Um, so they've got a, a, an interesting project down there in Idaho. Uh, stocks up a penny today uh, to 20 cents on 110,000 shares traded. I'm just going to look at their chart now. And um, the stock was a very kind of sleepy sort of, um, uh, you know, uh, didn't trade a lot for most of the uh, past year um, until recently. It started to get a lot more lively in January. Um, since then, the, the stock had a good rally from around the 12 cent, 12, 13 cent range, traded up to 37, has given back a, a fair amount of those gains but it's now trading at its 50-day moving average and is still above its 100-day moving average. It's below the 20-day, so it's kind of at uh, an interesting point here. I'd like to see more volume on the company. I think that they need some help with their audience building, um, but I do like their project, and I'm starting to uh, get to liking their stock chart as well. PEM is their stock symbol, and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is Mega Precious Metals. Uh, Mega Precious Metals had drill results out uh, from their Monument Bay project. Um, it, uh, they hit 51.7 meters of 4.8 grams per ton gold, including 0.70% uh, tungsten uh, over 2 meters, uh, and they are commencing their 2014 drill program. So they had a lot of news to talk about there. Um, you can find all that on their press release. Uh, they give in-depth details about what they're working on right now. Um, and uh, just uh, pulling up the stock chart, they're up a half a cent today to 15 and a half cents on 362,000 shares traded hands. 
just looking at their stock chart. Um, this one uh, bottomed in late December, um, has been getting more um, a better charts since then. They still have a fair bit of uh, volatility on a daily basis in their in their trading um, activity. Uh, they are trading above their uh, their 100 day, or sorry, their 50 day uh, and their 100 day and their 20 day. Uh, on some pretty good volume. Um, I'm going to do some more homework on mega precious metals. Um, I'm seeing some things there that I like. MGP is their stock symbol and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is Rocks Gold. Rocks Gold Inc. had, uh, um, pro uh, they have a project in Burkina Faso, West Africa. Uh, they intersected 19.94 grams per ton gold over 3.7 meters at their Bagasi South project. Uh, this is 100% uh, owned uh, part of the Yaramoko gold permit um, and uh, some very good numbers in there and not just on one hole. Um, d definitely something to uh, look at uh, especially if you're not too worried about uh, West Africa. Burkina Faso seems to be a pretty good place to be doing exploration in West Africa. Um, they're up three cents today on to 65 cents on 177,000 shares traded hands. Uh, stock's been very uh, in a very solid uh, trend since the December lows. Um, it's uh, it's trend it's above its 2050 and 100 day moving averages. Trade some decent volume. This is a, a pretty good looking trend here on this stock. Um, it from the bottoms in December it topped out at about 68 cents. Now it's looking like it's uh, taken another run at that. Uh, I do like what I see in that chart. I'm going to be doing some more homework on them and considering them for the best of the best in weekly news show. ROG is their stock symbol. They trade on the Venture Exchange. Next up is Rubicon Minerals. Rubicon Minerals announced a $100 million bought deal financing. Wow. Um, this, uh, the, the um, this will help them to further develop their Phoenix Gold project. I'm a big fan of that Phoenix Gold project. They've hit a lot of high-grade holes, uh, a high-grade gold in that project in Red Lake, Ontario. Uh, this is one of the best undeveloped projects for high-grade that I, I know of. And uh, they just put a hundred million bucks in their jeans so they can do a lot more work. Uh, the the market didn't like the news. They're down 32 cents uh, to a dollar 50 on 9.6 million shares. I think the market is overreacting and getting this news wrong. Uh, the stock chart has been getting a lot better since December, and with this pullback today, I think it's uh, uh, I'm going to be able to for sure talk about this company on tomorrow's uh, or on the weekly uh, new. Um, the best of the best in weekly news show tomorrow. Uh, RMX is their stock symbol and they trade on the Toronto Exchange. Next up is McEwen Mining. McEwen Mining put news out regarding their El Gallo 1 mine expansion and it's nearing completion. El Gallo 1 mine is in Sonolo State, Mexico. They're scheduled to be completed by early April. Um, the expansion is approximately three months ahead of schedule and capital costs are expected to total three million against the five million originally budgeted. So that's a nice change. For, uh, they're bringing it in ahead of uh, schedule and under budget. I like to see those kind of things. Doesn't happen all the time in the mining business but uh, or any business for that matter but uh, uh, very good news, and the market liked the news today. Stocks up 18 cents to three dollars and 35 cents on two 229,000 shares traded. Just looking at the stock chart, and this one's just had an explosive move since the lows in December. It was trading at around a dollar 82 on the lows of December, traded all the way up to 350. Uh, and now is uh, it's above its 2050 100 day moving average on very big volume. McEwen Mining is a good long term play. I like this company a lot. I like the leadership. I like where they're taking the company. MUX is their stock symbol. They trade on the Toronto Exchange. 
And the final company today is Alamos Gold. Alamos Gold reported that their fourth quarter and year-end 2013 results, and they earned $38.79 million U.S. dollars in 2013. Um, they, uh, they, uh, uh, that's that's uh, excellent results. Uh, they sold 42,000 ounces of gold uh, for that. That was in the quarter. Uh, they uh, uh, generated cash working capital of 12.7 million in that quarter. Uh, lots of good details. I'm not going to go over it all, but uh, in in days when a lot of uh, miners are are showing losses uh, with the price of the commodities down, I'm pretty impressed to see Alamos uh, showing a healthy uh, profit there. A stock's only up a half a cent today to eleven dollars and nineteen and a half cents on eight hundred and fifty eight thousand shares traded um, just looking to at their stock chart and uh, this one's bottomed in uh, December, late January actually um, and has is getting better it's above its twenty day slightly below its fifty day significantly below its two hundred day it's trading good volume. Uh, this is one that I'm, I'm, I think I could be talking about on the end of the week show, uh, best of the best in weekly news show. AGI is their stock symbol, and they trade on the Toronto Exchange. So that's a wrap on the news for today. Uh, I had another great batch of companies for you to do your homework on. And again, it's very important before making any investment decisions to do your homework and speak with your financial advisors. Um, as always, we do our, uh, our da daily news shows Monday through Thursday, and then on the uh, end of the week, either Friday or Saturday, depending on how uh, George and uh, my um, schedules are going, uh, we do our end of the week show. We call it the best of the best in weekly news, and uh, so far it looks like we're going to be doing that tomorrow. Um, so join us for that. You can find all of our work on Agora, the daily news shows at the front page of agoracom.com. Uh, you can also find our stuff on blog.agoracom.com or on my website at alanberryreports.com. On that note, you have a great day and we will talk to you soon.